Okay, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off how to uh, RNG manipulate for shiny legendaries, or just, you know, any shiny static encounter. So, uh, let me go ahead and get my game open. This is on emulator using MGBA. So, let me just speed through here. I'm already saved in front of Rayquaza, Rayquaza, however you want to say it. Uh, so, load up scripting file and then you're going to want to load the script I put in the description and then we are going to oh this is the third video I've recorded and I've had that issue every time where I can't split this screen properly there we go okay you're going to want to you can stay on the Pokemon info tab if you want but this will just show you the stats of your Pokemon well this is important for now actually so we're going to want to open up Pokefinder which is also in the description you're going to want to go to the you're on the gen 3 tab by default uh, hit static. Uh, did I miss it? Oh, there it is. And if you haven't already created the profile, you're going to want to. So we're going to go to manager, uh, new. You're going to want to enter the TID and SID over here. Assuming the Pokemon that it's hovering over is one that is from you and not one you got from another trainer. Uh, but yeah, TID, SID, put that in here, put that in here, change the version to Emerald and then set the profile name to whatever. I already have mine set up, so I'm just going to be using mine again. So, set mine to Emerald, set the seed to zero, because by default, or no, always, in uh, Pokemon Emerald, the seed is set to zero, because from what I understand, they messed some, messed some stuff up. Uh, I'm just resetting these values over here. We're going to set Shiny to Star Square. We're going to change the category from Starters I don't know what it is by default. This might just be left over from the video I recorded earlier. But we're going to change it to Legends. And I'm going to select Rayquaza. And if yours isn't in this tab, you can just select from any of these. <clears throat> like if you were doing... Uh, what's stationary? You can, I think this method should work for stationary too. Or the events or whatever. But Legends, Rayquaza, we want a shiny one. And, wow, I have to wait forever still. I forgot that my shiny frame sucks. So, hopefully you have better luck and have a better shiny frame than mine does. But, you see the advances in the top right here? I have to get to uh, 3,700. No, that's 30,700. 37,000. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. You're going to about to see it's, uh little sped up video of me getting to the, getting there but you're gonna make want to make sure you create a save state like I would even do it like a thousand frames or a thousand advances before your target advance here just to make sure because uh, we're not gonna hit it first try unless you already know the delay or whatever which I know there's lists of those online you can go look for but I'm just gonna show you a catch-all way that works with like all of them it takes a little more effort but it's really not that hard so, uh, yeah, here's a little time lapse, time lapse of me trying to get to my target frame. Okay, so now I'm like a thousand frames or so before my target advance. So I created my save state, and I'm going to advance a little longer just so I can get there. So I'm going for 37128. I'm at 37065. So now from here, I pause the game, doing Control-P, and I'm just doing Control-N to advance frames manually. So 37128 just want to get right on that frame and then you're going to want to press your like I'm directly on the frame now you're going to want to press your A button which for me is X just hold that down and then do control P to unpause the game while still holding down that button and that should initiate the encounter as soon as possible it's going to do this little cutscene and you see we didn't get a shiny Rayquaza, which is fine. That's expected for what the way I'm doing it. So from here, we can use this little program I wrote. It's simple math. It, you honestly don't need it, but it just makes it easier because I don't have to think too hard while doing this stuff. So my target frame was 37128. So we're going to put in 37128. We're going to hit enter, and then we have to go f find our hit frame. So we're going to want to switch tabs from Pokemon Info to Capture, so that way we can see the stats of this Rayquaza. <clears throat> and from here, we are going to go to Gen 3 Static, and 
we are going to try and put in the stats of this right closet. So gender, I mean it's genderless, nothing to put there. Uh, not shiny. Hidden power, flying. Nature is rash. Uh, where is it? There's rash. And then we can generate, and we can see which one we hit. So we're just going to be trying to match this PID here to the PID here and see if we can find one that's similar. Or, no, not similar, the exact same. So E7D3C. i got to scroll for a while. Uh, e, oh, is this it? E7DC397. 18. Da, 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 da. Okay, this is the one I hit. So I hit, two, I hit 37224. So I just simply put 37224. And it'll do the math to see the difference between the frame I was aiming for and the frame I hit. And it'll give me the adjusted frame that I should try and aim for. So I need to aim for 37032. This is why I told you to make a safe state a couple thousand frames before. Uh, you could do a couple hundred instead, but I would just do a thousand to be safe. It's not like it's that big of a time loss, but I'm reloading my save here. And I'm going for 37032, so i got to make sure I don't miss this. Oop. Okay, I'll manually advance from here. 37032. Okay, I'm on this new correct frame, 37032. I hold down the A button which is X, then control P to unpause, and you can already see over here it says star, but if you want to wait, if you got to see it to believe it, uh, there's your shiny Rayquaza, or whatever other shiny legendary you're going for. But yeah, it's really simple. <laughs> Honestly, the hardest part about this was just getting up to Sky Pillar, because I was failing this puzzle, but getting the shiny itself is really not that hard. Uh, but yeah, that's all there is to it. Links to the stuff I used in this video are in the description. And yeah, I hope that I was able to help anybody out trying to figure it out on their own.